He is a B Tech in Chemical Engineering. Uh, in 1984 batch from IIT Delhi, he did his postgraduate in Diploma in Management and from IIM Ahmedabad 1986 batch. Uh, he is the president of IIM Ahmedabad Alumni Institute as well. He was a member of prestigious McKenzie Quarterly Online Executive Panel. He has worked at Unilever, Johnson & Johnson, PD Light, British Gas. He is associated with he is associated with Thank You India Research Foundation, a social uh, experiment to spread positivity and culture of appreciation for daily and teeny uh, good act, good acts. Currently, he is a management consultant engaged in creating social capital. So, I welcome Kalpen sir to uh, formally introduce, uh, give an introductory note of the event, and then we can go ahead. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, uh, Pankaj, for this. Uh brief but very interesting exciting introduction uh, welcome everyone good evening i am kalpin shukla i welcome you all for this uh, very interesting uh, initiative uh, what we have named as samvad which is our own version of creating a platform where our alumni young alumni as well as students can have interaction with our own alumni who have explored different professions and have achieved fairly impressive heights. So having said this, I am very happy to welcome our panelists today. We are, we are having an extremely interesting mix of uh, panelists today. We have Ms. Gazal Kalra, entrepreneur and co-founder of Rivico. Uh, I, am, I am sure beyond this, she doesn't need any further introduction. But she is also World Economic Forum Young Global Leader. She's been acknowledged Forbes 40 under 40 and a Fulbright Scholar. We also have Ms. Udita Singh, District Magistrate of Vaishali. She is an IAS batch 2014 and she's also alumna of Super 30. We have Saurav Agarwal, co founder, Fitso. Ironman, triathlete, mountaineer, and also an aspiring author. We have Deepak Goyal, Director, India, Global Portfolio and Strategy Head for Shell Foundation. I must express my gratitude to all these panelists who have obliged us today to share their journey and to some extent share their thoughts with our young alums. The primary purpose when we initiated Samwad series was to ensure that there is unrestricted, unreserved flow of information amongst our young alum and our successful alum. And having said this, we also are trying our best to ensure that the senior alum come from various walks of life and therefore would be in a position to help and guide our young students. So somewhat as a series, in fact, I had some interesting interactions just a couple of days back at the Institute. And I heard it from our Dean Alumni Affairs that they are also in a, in, in a process to create this kind of interaction points between the students and the alumni. So as we move forward, we possibly would be able to bring in the synergies between the association initiative and the institute initiative. But if we look at it on the other side, as an association with 56,000 alumni across the globe and with 40 plus unicorn builders and 500 plus uh, UPSC senior officers, I think we are in a wonderful position. We have 1,000 plus global faculty members. We have more than 5,000 entrepreneurs. We have more than 1,000 CEOs and CXOs. We have so much of wisdom and expertise and valuable insights available within our own association, which is phenomenally valuable for the young alum who are yet to initiate their life and start exploring life. And I'll tell you another interesting uh, uh, episode, which we just conducted a couple of months back, where we had life after IITD, and we had a uh, long list of eight speakers. But believe you me, it was such a popular program because students were so very keen to absorb every piece of information that came from their own alum. And therefore, I have very high hopes, 
from Samwaj series. We would love to maintain this continuity. We would love to engage our senior alumni who would like to come, share their story, share, share their thoughts, and also give some, uh, some tips informally as to how they can go forward and negotiate a challenge called life. Now, being IITians, of course, we all of us know that we are very adequately placed to pursue any opportunity. We are qualified to, uh, to go forward in any direction and do well. Nonetheless, at a certain stage, each one would love to have someone guiding, someone mentoring, someone helping. Now, whether you are an entrepreneur or you are a, a UPSC officer or you are a corporate young manager, each stage and each place has some eminent alumni from your own association who would be in a position to break that barrier and make you feel comfortable and also give you the guidance which is straight from the heart. And this is something which is most critical and most valuable as far as young alum are concerned. And therefore, on one hand, from association side, we will make best efforts to identify senior alumni, particularly from the last decade or decade and a half or two, who, who have that contemporary understanding of what's happening, how it is happening, and therefore how our young students can modify their approach to life. So here is an opportunity for you to just let yourself go, give us some interesting insights of your journey as to how it happened, how it did not happen, when it did not happen, how you negotiated that tough phase, how you overcame those challenges. And therefore, Samwad would be in a position to really create a meaningful dialogue between our own alumni and students. And therefore, when we go forward with Samwad series, we would be very happy to take suggestions from panelists as to how we can organize it better, as well as from the participants as to how we can offer you meaningful, relevant inputs from our own alumni. So having said this, I, I would say Samad is going to be a serious initiative in a light manner because we are interacting with our own. You're mentoring, you're guiding, your own. And similarly, as far as the participants are concerned, uh, each one of each one of the panelists who are sharing whatever is, is a genuine experience and uh, genuinely believed uh, information. And therefore, it is both ways quite meaningful and valuable and it adds definite value to this entire interaction. So having said this, I, I, I leave the floor open. I welcome all my participants and panelists once again. And uh, I am myself looking forward to listening to all my younger panelists here. Thank you very much for joining us. And over to you, Pankaj. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for such nice words. And you actually set the tone for the event. And that is what actually meant by some word. Uh, I can very proudly say that this was my brainchild. And when we started last, launched it last year on 5th of September, this was something which I wanted to do. So having said that, I welcome Rakesh Bansal, sir, Secretary ITDA, and Narendra, sir, and Anu Meena, uh, my fellow EC members. And now we move ahead with the event. So first and foremost, I would like to invite our speakers formally. So first of all, I'm inviting uh, Ms. Ghazal Kalra. She is a 2007 batch BTEC Textile Technology IT Delhi. She is an entrepreneur, World Economic Forum, Young Global Leader Awardee, Forbes 40 under 40 uh, and Fulbright Fellow. She is the founder of Stealth. She has been a co-founder of Revigo and that needs no introduction. She has master's in business administration from Stanford University in Entrepreneur Studies and also a Master in Public Administration from Harvard uh, Kennedy School of Government. She was a part of the World Bank Group and she was also a Parliamentary Associate for the Office of Member of Parliament. She was also a McKinsey and Company uh, Consultant. She was the General Secretary at SAC IIT Delhi and this is my personal interaction with her because when I joined the institute in the first year, 
she was the sac g sec and we had so many events including the faculty versus students cricket match which she herself played a little bit being a girl student also so i welcome gazal and i i am pretty sure that everybody is open to listen a lot from you and learn a lot from you welcome gazal Thank you so much. Uh, you know, now that you mentioned about uh, the cricket match, I, I I remember it was faculty versus uh, students. I don't know if it's continued as a tradition, but definitely a very you know enjoyable highlight of my tenure as SAG GSEC. Uh, thank you so much. I think uh, to everybody uh, you know in the organizing uh, committee, I think it's a much needed uh, initiative, and I feel so jealous that none of this was available. us when we were graduating and somehow you know life i mean life happened and then you said how you know so said that you know how can you be more intentional about the choices you made if you make i feel none of this was available to us and somehow we just you know made our choices and looking back are able to connect the dots so i would just tell everybody who's listening and at the students who are you know getting to uh, students and even young alumni who are getting to sort of benefit from this i think it's uh, you know you're in a position of privilege if these kind of forums and initiatives are already sort of being set up uh, you know to make choices and your paths much easier um what i can share is um you know i mean of course there will be question and answer you know given is sort of uh, down the line but what i would say is that a few things that uh, i would give as maybe you know what helped me in my journey was one you know there's a term that we all use uh, especially the younger generation which is you know fomo fear of missing out so you know when i graduated that trend was just catching on and i felt that it takes a lot of uh, restraint and self control and self discipline to not go down that path of fomo so what i'm seeing a lot of people are making choices is because not because maybe they want it they don't know what they want but they're doing it because somebody else is doing it and they don't want to miss it miss out on it right so one place folder i would put and this is you, you know we were the so i mean facebook etc came when we were in in college right but like a lot of the younger alumni have grown with a lot of social media a lot of access to you know what's happening who's doing what etc so my first this thing would be create your own journey uh, it's unique to you and yes you can learn from what everyone else is doing but you should not do the same or copy it because everybody else is doing it and the trend i'm seeing these days is ki startup karna because ab matlab startup ki wave chal rahi hai pehle consulting ki thi then there was investment banking before and the truth the fact of life is not everybody is cut out for it right and you have to know yourself and what you are good at what will it take for you to do that thing and does it make sense for you so fomo mein aake you know you should not pick up anything that you do in life the second part i would also mention is that you know have a purpose in life you know it's very important because given that we stay in a very connected world where opportunities to us are unlimited uh, you know when we graduated us time there was this explosion of india shining in opportunities and i think now where we stand whether it's corporate whether it's global opportunities whether it's startup opportunities when i lived there was no startup hiring from campus and now if you look at there are many more many you know sort of young companies you're hiring on campus right um and then even as you graduate much more options available but have a purpose right uh, otherwise you will you know you'll move around in a brownian motion but not get anywhere so you will expend a lot of energy you'll be busy in a corporate career or in a making a career but where does that get to you know will will you know it, it will be difficult to look back and connect the dots right so i would highly encourage think what's the purpose is your purpose that you want to start something is the purpose that you want to create a you know a valuable business in india is your purpose that you want to create jobs in india is your purpose that you want to build the next you know electric vehicle in the country right so have a purpose 
and uh, and then sort of you know build your steps towards that the third thing i would actually say you know as you make your career choices um actually you know life is about making choices at any point you're making a choice do i drink coffee or green tea do i join consulting or investment banking do i become an engineer or product manager so all these at every moment you're making these choices so my suggestion is have an anchor or a purpose that drives you or guides you so it becomes like a you know it it becomes like a test for all the choices that you're making in life the third i would say is just think of life you know as 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 people who have recently graduated i mean lagta hai ki humne bahut padhai kari hai abhi but you know increasingly life is about learning whatever you studied in college whatever i studied in college was very quickly you know it i mean not so relevant because the world is changing new technologies new content new this thing so we always need to keep upgrading ourselves no matter where we are in life and uh, degrees right that's education plus experience but how do you learn every day you know what what content do you read uh, you know do you subscribe to some magazines do you subscribe to high quality content do you network with people do you have experts you talk to on an ongoing basis do you read books do you listen to podcasts because a lot of our thinking gets activated and and stimulated by our learning mechanisms i mean just an ex- as an example warren buffett eats you know for a few hours every day he spends time in his office reading so uh, you know it 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 makes him aware of what's happening around right um while we may have studied engineering a, you know a lot of the roles that we will end up playing in our careers uh, will be leadership roles as the ability to think across the board right so while you may come from engineering you should be able to connect the dots across multiple parts of the organization and one last thing i would say is um you know focus on your health um you know we it's important covid has taught us that um, we you know when we are younger we take a lot of things for granted uh but have invest in your health it's the biggest um you know it's the biggest investment you know your investments are not your stock trading uh you know uh, i mean amounts or how much you, how much crypto or bitcoins do you have but it's really your health because uh you know there there are enough and more opportunities around um so you know be mindful right i mean whether that's your physical health spiritual health mental health emotional health um you know take care of it increasingly you know up until now i mean they say that physical fitness is is uh, you know the survival of the fittest and those who are physically fit used to survive that was the you know the old uh, saying but i say that mental fitness and mental toughness is what makes people survive in corporate careers or in businesses or in professions uh, a lot around me especially with this generation i see just too much distraction and access to social media etc and it's having an impact and uh, you know i you know just i can't you know maybe tell the solutions here but just focus on that what it means for you and over invest in it, in it for you and your family so i think just those uh, few things uh oh, thank you thank you gazal for such delightful expression of thoughts and i am pretty sure that all the uh, attendees as well as those those who are listening it live will be definitely taking a note of whatever you have shared and they will be benefited they will be benefited in their careers i am pretty sure about it thank you so much and now i'll welcome uh, deepak goel he is a dual degree chemical engineering from iit delhi in 2008 batch deepa goel is the director india and global portfolio and strategy head at shell foundation uk it is a uk registered charity organization uh, he works across india and africa portfolio with a focus on amplifying social impact through growth for growth of for profit social entrepreneurs 
developing solutions to improve livelihoods of low income consumers prior to joining shell foundation deepak had worked in shell group in broad range of roles in upstream and downstream projects across asia europe and the usa in his last role he supported the world's largest flare reduction project in iraq i know deepak uh, from my first year itself again because i was awarded the best volunteer in the society delhi award and he was the joint he was the general secretary of nss society delhi and we used to call him dg so dg was his common name from goma hostel so i welcome deepak and i will be pleased to hear and i am pretty sure everybody will be pleased to hear your ideas about your corporate life and your career thus far deepak thanks thanks pankaj for inviting and thanks everyone for taking such an initiative right i fully echo what gajal said uh, in fact uh, i mean gajal and i am from the same batch she being from dual, four years i being dual degree so uh, pleasure to see you again gajal i think we didn't we didn't manage to catch up quite a bit but pleasure to see you here i think honestly speaking pankaj whatever i wanted to say gajal already said <laughs> not 50% 80% 99% of it right uh, i probably would focus on few points from what she has already said all said very very well very very well uh, the way gajal have expressed it uh, you know the some of the points some of the learnings and experiences from last 14 15 years of career um, and i don't think i have more to add substantially for the for the alumni and for the young uh, fellows from iit delhi right i think i would focus on one thing of fomo which is very very key that gajal said and it did help me a lot i joined shell group as a campus placement in 2008 and uh, being in the same shell group of companies for 14 years without changing quite a few of my friends tell me mad lazy right uh, not aggressive with the career not thinking about the career because the form of the trend is that you need to change you need to change companies every 2 3 years you are getting stagnated uh you are not thinking too much you know you don't take too much efforts this quite a bit of form of doing different things and changing because others around you are changing right others around you are looking for new things right and i had similar pressure for my peer group right and when you look at the way it help uh, works right you will have to be top and to complete right and competing because you want to be ahead of the game and you don't know what game you are playing the biggest point is you don't know what game you are playing what's the finishing line because as soon as you think you have reached the finishing line actually finishing line has moved two feet forward right and you feel like okay there's still something to do right on that and i think example being mba right uh, 90% of my colleagues who joined shell along with me uh left the company for different reasons right to an extent that company was frustrated that uh, iitians are awesome they perform very very well but they don't stick it's not something typical to shell but other companies also right um and i was under extreme pressure to also do mba right because others are doing why i am not doing with so so good exposure in iit in shell i had a global roles uh, my first four years i spent like a year in us a year in netherlands a year in singapore a year in india on multiple projects including projects with government on actually working on regulations right why should not not really crack harvard and stanford and i was like it's nothing i have nothing against it right i'm nothing against people doing mba people not doing mba but for me it was more about do i want to do mba because i want to do achieve something out of it or i would like to do mba because my colleagues are doing it right there are two separate things unfortunately whenever someone challenged me that why i am not doing mba i asked okay i think i am learning in the job and i think i'm happy with the people i'm working with and i think these were the two things i really want for my life learning daily daily and being happy with the people i'm spending time either at office or in my at my home and i was getting both too right now it's not that you should not do mba or it's not that you should do mba but i just want to tell that take decisions based on what you want to do 
not based on what your friends are doing without knowing why you would like to do that right what do you really want to achieve from mba right what's your key objective what's the purpose for doing it think about that right you should compete but first you should compete with yourself where it should always be that am i becoming a better person every day am i learning and learning is not always technical learning is learning about people learning about culture right i learned quite a bit so one thing i learned a lot from corporate like shell was working with people and working with people from different cultures i think my last count few years back was i worked with people from 43 nationalities uh, across the globe uh, and when i said worked it was really hands on work on projects right um, and it has not been easy very very challenging when you work with people from different uh, nationalities but that's what is really about it's not really about learning a new tech which i think with people in iit uh, they can learn that quickly they can learn them from books lectures very very quickly learning new tech is not something challenging for uh, people from iit right but what is more important in a leadership role is learning about people how do you work with them how do you understand them how do you manage them right how do you always aspire to be surrounded by people who are better than you so that you can learn with them it will make your life difficult by being surrounded by people who are better than you but it will also make your life interesting and moving forward right learning from people and giving back right also investing in the development of your team in your people because learning is a two way process right you also have to give back right and that's what i learned quite a bit from corporate job you know culture people there are obviously things don't work linearly right uh, it's not always like everything is good there are frustrations uh, like startups corporates also has frustration completely agree with gazal right faces comes uh, uh, when we were graduating there was a phase of cfa every second person was looking at finance in uh, you know a career in finance doing cfa and nsc course then it faded away in 3 to 4 years right uh, investment banking all those things were there then uh, the phase come of startups and things like keep and then startups then it was ai ml uh, you know and ui ux things change things change over that time people asked me quite a few uh, from i to so i i mean pankaj is probably aware of it i also run an ngo called blood connect foundation which was started in iit delhi in 2010 by a couple of my juniors and i am still running it over the 11 years it's an ngo it's a startup in a way uh, but a bit different startup where we don't measure growth in terms of revenue or market cap we measure growth in terms of how many people we have actually saved lives and how many people we have been able to reach uh through our programs and create awareness about volunteering and awareness about uh blood donation right uh, it's a 100% volunteer organization with a team of 200 to 250 uh committed volunteers from iits iims and corporates working with us uh and it's very challenging let me put it like that because we are a registered ngo but we don't pay anyone right and we do one of the most difficult job which is convincing people to donate blood and last two years have been horrible literally horrible telling someone to go out and donate blood during covid right was not easy to an extent that i decided to take a sabbatical for one year from my job and spend full time with blood connect foundation just to make sure that uh, we are able to support the organization fully during covid and we don't you know when the when the nation needs us most when the people need us most when there's no blood in the blood bank that was a time when we could not shut down and we could not say that it's a difficult job to do so let's blood connect not do anything but because we don't have any employee uh, i had to take a hard decision of taking a time off and thankfully my management in shell foundation was very very supportive of that of giving me a, uh, giving me some time off right but again in blood connect foundation what i learned a lot is about people about managing expectations of people about motivating them about learning from them what do they expect from me it's not just always what i expect from them 
what do i expect what do they expect from me am i meeting their expectation did i ever ask why did you join blood connect are you getting that right so i think those are the things where we learn a lot whether it's a corporate or an entrepreneur or an ngo and we should not always think about technical learning we should not always think about should i do a course in ai ml xyz which i am pretty sure all the people on the call or iit leaks will crack it we should also think about leadership because all of us end up in a leadership role what do i need to become a good leader right and it does not come by reading books only books helps but it comes with practical experience and you look for it on that i think i did want to say quite a bit but gazal has already covered all those things about happiness about health really 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 important right health is wealth health is really wealth and try to stress is good but too much stress is problem i think in hindi we used to say chita is you know chinta is chita right that's something very famous and people and you must be seeing that how stress too much stress continuously can end up having quite a bit of a cardiovascular issues with young people getting quite a bit of heart attacks right too much stress a reasonable level of stress gets best out of it but too much of it get you worst right so think quite a bit about are you doing justice with yourself are you doing justice with your family are you spending time with them now young alumni is probably bachelors would not understand that right are they investing time in their families and friends i didn't honestly speaking right i was either spending too much time with company or rest of my time was going with blood connect really i mean i was spending like 10 hours with the company and 6 hours with blood connect every day so i was not spending enough time right but i think that's a mistake i did right after iit after you pass out are you putting enough efforts right to make sure your best friends in iit continue to be your friends forget about being best friends continue to be your friends i can tell you there are probably less than 10 people whom i really called on a continuous basis from my iit days on a continuous basis when i was in the job i think that was a mistake from my end those were my friends i didn't keep contact with them on a regular basis and it's worth investing time in your friends in your family it's it's as important and more important than your career right in your fam- invest time in your families and friends i think i would stop here and we we'll probably take some q and a and then would be glad to hear from udita and others on that uh, yeah thank you deepak thank you for those beautiful words and uh, obviously you extended what gazal said and uh, it you added more to it because of your corporate experience and now i would like to welcome udita Udita Singh is a B.Tech electrical engineer in 2011 batch uh, from IIT Delhi. She is an IAS and currently serving as DM in Vaisali district of Bihar. Uh, she is in 2014 IAS with an All India rank of 46. She served as Assistant Secretary, Department of Finance, Government of India. After that, she took charge as SDM, Katihar in Bihar cadre. Thereafter, she took charge as as DDC at Rohtas Bihar. before coming to vaishali to serve as the district magistrate so i welcome udita uh, she has been commendable in her journey as an administrator thus far and she happens to be an alumnus of super 30 as well so that is my link to her that she was a junior to me in super 30 in my immediate batch so welcome with udita and we are open to share that right ankaj can i come in for a minute ha yeah with your permission ha uh, yeah narendra uh, yeah uh, we are sorry to interrupt <laughs> Uh, i think what uh, deepak said was very relevant in terms of what stress is uh, i don't know whether i can relate it to the since we all are engineer i can relate it to uh, a concept in science you know if there if the if the place is too slippery you can't walk on it you need some resistance for you to able to walk it but if there is too much of resistance also you will not be able to walk or run on it yeah. that exactly what happens in life here yeah. you got to make a balance out there and this is how the whole life progresses thank you very much for your time uh yeah over to you udita welcome yeah thank you thank you so much uh 
Uh, first, I would like to congratulate IIT Delhi Alumni Association and uh, its president, Mr. Shukla, uh, Mr. Kalpen Shukla ji, and also Mr. Kaparia for the opportunity and also for conducting such a nice event, Samvad, which is I just got to know is a series you will be conducting. So it's really nice. It's a, it will be a platform where the juniors, will, they can connect with the seniors. And uh, just one query, if you don't mind, can I switch to Hindi? I'll be more comfortable in Hindi, but after a year of No, no, please feel free. Yeah, well, please, yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, we want to hear you. So go ahead, whichever way it suits you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so I like uh, I was just listening to my to the other speakers and they were really describing the thing very well. So I'll just because uh, I think students are jude hain, so I'll just give a brief ki, uh, how to take the decision. Ki, matlab, if you want to come to civil services, I'll just be greater than my journey what I have done so far. I'll just give a brief description like if you are thinking about civil services, what uh, how can you decide whether to come or not. So coming to like, uh, the first question is like, why you want to join UPSC? So if you to join, the answer will be you But I can tell you a few reasons why you don't want to join civil services. I mean, if these are your reasons why you want to join civil services, you should not. I'll tell you that thing. So the first thing, which is a typical government work, is that you can earn a lot of money. So that is one thing just agar aapko, if you want to earn lots and lots of money, which is very good thing to do in life. If you want to do that, don't join the service. Matlab, aapko, hi aapko salary pata ki, to you'll be like, you'll go in depression. Ki kar kya rahe ho yaar, tum log, tum log ko paisa hi milta. You, you'll be paid peanuts throughout your life. But hai, matlab, you'll be given other, uh, matlab, baki rahte, aapke paas ghar rahega, gaadi rahega, to baki cheeza rahega, domestic help rahega, staff rahega, numerous. To baki cheeza aapka mint. Uh, sort of taken care of, then your salary will be saving. So you manage it. You will live a good life, but you will not earn money. So don't join money for money. The other thing is, there is one thought process which says that government job join the government job, you will not have to do So trust me, I am still in my office. Being what time is Around 5.30 in the evening on Sunday, I am still in my office. And I don't know when I will go home. So, chill marna wala jo concept hota hai, wo sarkari naukri mein nahi hota hai. Matlab, if you join at this level, I guess, matlab, agar koi bhi senior level pe join karoge, to ab chill nahi mar sakte ho. Take it from me, matlab, take it from me. Matlab, main, ha, hum log ko aisa laga tha ki sarkari naukri bhot asan hoga, but nahi hota hai. Aur dusra jo is job mein jo sabse tough part hota hai, that is ki uh, join karne ke matlab, maine 2014, 2014 mein I have joined the services. After only five years of joining the services, you have a responsibility that you have to do. Like, I became DM in 2019. And district magistrate is like, my district population is 35 lakh. So I am responsible for 35 lakh people directly or indirectly for everything. Everything under the sky, I am responsible. I am the person who will be held responsible directly or indirectly. So if for मतलब whatever you can think मतलब अगर किसी को अच्छे से health benefits नहीं मिल पा रहा I am responsible किसी को बच्चा school नहीं जा पा रहा I am responsible किसी कोई मतलब किसी को खाना नहीं मिल पा रहा I am responsible किसी के पास घर नहीं है I am responsible so anything you can think of especially for the down prone society the weaker society उनको कोई भी समस्या कोई भी परेशानी हो तो you will be held responsible कि आप आपने अपना काम अच्छे से नहीं किया इसीलिए उनका ये condition है तो इसीलिए मतलब वो वाला चीज होता है कि चिल मारना है या रिस्पांसिबिलिटी नहीं लेना है तो डोंट कम टू दिस सर्विस ये सर्विस बहुत ज्यादा डिमांडिंग हो चुका है बिकॉज़ इन टुडेस वर्ल्ड मतलब सोसाइटी नोस व्हाट इज देयर राइट्स व्हाट बेनिफिट्स दे शुड गेट फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द सिविल सर्विसेज व्हाट फ्रॉम व्हाट सर्विसेज वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग दे नो तो नाउ दे आर डिमांडिंग द सर्विसेज तो वो एरा खत्म हो चुका है कि जबकि अगर सरकार में आ गए और डीएम बन गए तो लोग जो पहले वी हैव आल्सो हर्ड द स्टोरी कि लोग डीएम का चेहरा देखते ही नहीं थे साल में बस दो बार इन द होल ईयर ओनली टू टाइम्स पीपल यूज्ड टू सी द फेस ऑफ डीएम वंस ऑन 26 जनवरी द नेक्स्ट डे यूज्ड टू बी 15 अगस्त जब फ्लैग होस्टिंग होता था बट नाउ इट इज नॉट सो जो हमारा जो फोन है एवरीबॉडी आउट ऑफ दैट 35 लाख आई थिंक 20 लाख पॉपुलेशन के पास मेरा फोन नंबर है and they can call me any time 24-7. So that is the kind of pressure you will be dealing if you come in this service. 
और वॉट टू नॉट मैं एक और चीज है कि आई थिंक मैंने बहुत ज्यादा नेगेटिवली स्टार्ट कर दिया तो लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग की बट वेन आई एम टेलिंग यू की इतनी सारा रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है तो यू हैव अ प्रॉपर सिस्टम इंस्टीट्यूशन इन प्लेस विच विल बी हेडिंग एंड दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन विल टेक केयर ऑफ द थिंग्स तो इफ आई एम टेकिंग केयर ऑफ थर्टी फाइव लैक पॉपुलेशन आई हैव मोर देन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड इम्प्लॉयज डायरेक्टली अंडर मी हु आर वर्किंग डायरेक्टली अंडर मी और इनडायरेक्ट वाला तो हम लोग काउंट नहीं करते हैं तो दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन मतलब इज डूइंग द थिंग्स यू जस्ट हैव टू मॉनिटर मतलब हम लोग का काम इज मोर ऑफ अ मॉनिटरिंग एंड रेगुलेशन वो वाला काम होता है तो उतना ज्यादा मतलब वो मत सोचना कि होने लायक काम नहीं मतलब देर इज इंस्टीट्यूशन विच इज वर्किंग विच इज डूइंग द थिंग्स बट येस टिल द टाइम आप फील्ड में रहोगे तो योर जॉब इज लिटरली ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वो आपका आपको कभी भी कॉल आ सकता है कभी भी कुछ भी इमरजेंसी हो सकता है कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट की जो होता है कि एज अ स्टूडेंट जब आप सोचते हो सिविल सर्विसेज तो सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज आता है कि आपको फिर से कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम देना है एक तो मतलब जेई क्रैक करना ही अपने आप में बहुत बड़ी बात होती है अगेन कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम तो वेदर आई शुड टेक द एग्जाम या फिर आई शुड गो फॉर प्लेसमेंट दैट इज द मेन चैलेंज मतलब डिसीजन यू हैव टू टेक ड्यूरिंग द कॉलेज तो उसमें मैं बताती हूँ कि आई विल जस्ट टेल यू टू थिंग्स विच इज मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट इन प्रिपरेशन पहला होता है कि एज इंजीनियर्स स्कूल से लेकर कॉलेज तक हम लोग कभी भी हंड्रेड वर्ड से ज्यादा लिखे नहीं रहते हैं मतलब टेंथ में ट्वेल्थ में या फिर कॉलेज में हंड्रेड वर्ड इज मैक्सिमम वी वॉट वी हैव रिटर्न एंड यूपीएससी में यू हैव टू राइट थाउजेंड वर्ड्स एक आंसर थाउजेंड वर्ड का तो हमें आता ही नहीं है कि हाउ टू गो अड विद इट हाउ कैन आई राइट थाउजेंड वर्ड मतलब आंसर तो हम लोग हमेशा मतलब आई रिमेंबर माई प्रोफेसर यूज टू बी लाइक डेसिमल के दो पॉइंट तक इफ टू पॉइंट डेसिमल तक आपका आंसर एक्यूरेट है देन ओनली यूल गेट फुल मार्क्स अदरवाइज यू विल नॉट दैट वॉज माई प्रोफेसर इन आई टी डेली इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर तो हम लोग टू द पॉइंट वेरी प्रिसाइज होते हैं अपने आंसर्स में एंड यहाँ पे आपका कॉम्पिटिशन होगा हिस्ट्री ग्रेजुएट लॉ ग्रेजुएट फिलोसफी ग्रेजुएट जो कि बचपन से यही काम किया है मतलब पूरे कॉलेज में उन्होंने इसी तरह का हजार हजार वर्ड का आंसर लिखा है और आपको उनका चीज सीखना होगा यूल हैव टू मास्टर दोज थिंग्स एंड देन यू हैव टू डिफीट दैम इन देयर ओन बैटल मतलब जिसमें उन्हें वो लोग बचपन से जो चीज किए हैं आपको वो सीख के एंड देन यू हैव टू कम्पीट विद दैम एंड देन यू हैव टू सिक्योर अ बेटर रैंक देन दैम तो दिस इज दी मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज कौन सा बुक पढ़ना है कौन सा कोचिंग ज्वाइन करना है वो सब मतलब once you decide if you have to come you'll know all those things wo those are those are not the tough things but ye ye bahut bada challenge mujhe laga tha and i think most of the engineers matlab jitne itians hai na koi bhi likhna nahi jante we don't know how to write long answers aur dusra sabse bada challenge hoga ki jab aap graduate kar jaoge aapke sare friends ki naukri lag chuki hogi एंड जैसे ही फ्रेंड्स की नौकरी लगती है डेली रात को पार्टी होना शुरू हो गया मतलब कुछ कुछ लोग इंडिया में रहेंगे कुछ लोग अब्रॉड में रहेंगे बट जहां पर भी रहेंगे वो पार्टी करेंगे डेली एवरी इवनिंग पार्टी होगी और बाकी जो आधे लोग पार्टी करेंगे आधे लोग वर्ल्ड टूर पे निकल जाएंगे कोई यूरोप घूमेगा कोई सिंगापुर में रहेगा कोई बुर्ज खलीफा के ऊपर खड़े होकर फोटो खिंचाएगा समथिंग समथिंग विल भी है एंड आप बैठे रहोगे राजेंद्र नगर में एंड फुल डिप्रेस्ड कि किया क्या मैंने अपने लाइफ के साथ मेरी सी 8.5 थी उसकी सी 6.5 थी वो इंजॉय कर रहा है मैं बैठी हुई हूँ सो दैट इज अनदर चैलेंज विच यूल बी फेसिंग इफ यू थिंक ऑफ कमिंग मतलब गिविंग दिस एग्जाम एंड कमिंग टू सर्विस और ऐसा भी नहीं होता कि फर्स्ट अटेम में निकल ही जाएगा जैसे मे, मेरे जैसे अगर बच्चे हो गए तो सेकेंड अटेम देना पड़ेगा तो और भी ज्यादा चैलेंजिंग हो जाएगा कि मतलब फिर तो कॉन्फिडेंस भी लूज हो जाता है कि मतलब कर क्या रहे हैं गलत डिसीजन तो नहीं हो गया पेरेंट्स भी बोलेंगे कि बेटा और कोई एग्जाम भी दे ही दो ये तो निकल नहीं रहा है मतलब थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट सिनारियो हो जाता है लाइफ में तो यू हैव टू कोप अप विद दैट तो द ओनली थिंग विच विल कीप यू गोइंग विल बी द क्वेश्चन बाय यूपीएससी व्हाई हैव यू थॉट टू कम टू दिस ट्रीम तो यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट कि आप क्यों आना चाहते हो अगर आप I'll tell you क्यों आना चाहिए मतलब अगर क्यों आना चाहिए तो नहीं मतलब एवरी इंडिविजुअल विल हैव देयर ओन आंसर बट वन गुड आंसर विल बी कि इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू अर्न रिस्पेक्ट एंड इम्पैक्ट सोसाइटी एंड नेशन डायरेक्टली मतलब प्राइवेट जॉब्स जो है वो भी वो बहुत ज्यादा इम्पैक्ट कर रहे हैं आज के डेट में नेशन को बट एक डायरेक्ट इम्पैक्ट जो होता है जो कि आप डे टू डे देख सकते हो कि आज चलो इसको इसका भला कर दिए तो अगर उस तरह का स्मॉल हैप्पीनेस इन योर लाइफ अगर और रिस्पेक्ट इन सोसाइटी अगर आप कुछ भी अच्छा करोगे सोसाइटी बहुत रिस्पेक्ट करेगी बिकॉज दे नो कि यू आर डूइंग जस्ट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर जॉब बट इट इज इम्पैक्टिंग देम डायरेक्टली 
तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अर्न सम रिस्पेक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इम्पैक्ट है गुड मतलब गिव अ गुड इम्पैक्ट टू द सोसाइटी तो आप ये सर्विस में आने का सोच सकते हो बट द बॉटम लाइन इज की हाउ शुड आई मतलब आई थिंक बहुत बॉटम uh, लाइन uh, यही रहेगा कि देखो राइट uh, नाउ right मतलब इन द एज यू आर इन आप लोगों को बस ये सोचना चाहिए कि वॉट यू रियली वॉन्ट इन योर लाइफ मतलब आप क्या करना चाहते हो अपनी जिंदगी में वॉट यू रियली वॉन्ट टू डू विथ योर लाइफ एंड सेकेंडली वॉट काइंड ऑफ लाइफ यू वॉन्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट मतलब आप किस तरह की जिंदगी अपना चाहते हो तो जैसे आई वॉज लिसनिंग टू दर स्पीकर लाइक दे हैव डन मल्टीपल थिंग्स इन दर लाइफ वॉट आई हैव डन इज जस्ट क्वालिफाइड वन एग्जाम तो अगर एक छोटा सा एग्जाम मतलब मैंने स्ट्रगल किया बट ओनली फॉर टू ईयर्स एंड आई क्वालिफाइड वन एग्जाम एंड देन माई लाइफ इज कम्प्लीटली सेट कि उसके बाद मुझे कुछ नहीं करना अब मेरा time on promotion at least for promotion and career growth ke sense mein it is time on promotion i'll be getting day to day jo challenges aayega wo to aap take care kar hi loge to agar is tarah ki zindagi chahiye to come to the service otherwise matlab dusre wo wala cheez hai ki matlab aapka reason why to come to service that should be very strong and you should be 101% convinced that you want to come to service then only decide to take this exam otherwise there will be many फेजेस जहां पर कि बहुत ज्यादा डिप्रेशन आएगा एंड इट कैन लास्ट फॉर वन ईयर और टू इयर्स सो यू हैव टू बी मेंटली प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर दैट तो विद दिस आई वुड लाइक टू एंड माय थिंग बट वन थिंग आई से कि व्हेन वी जॉइंड द कॉलेज हमारा हमें टी शर्ट दिया गया था जिसपे लिखा था आई एम वॉट यू ड्रीम टू बी तो नॉट रियली दैट एटीट्यूड दैट विल बी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट बट बी कॉन्फिडेंट आप जो भी डिसाइड करोगे You will be able to achieve that. मतलब आई टी डेली के स्टूडेंट हो तो इतना तो है कि आप जो भी डिसाइड करोगे अपने आप उसमें टॉप करोगे और आप अच्छा ही करोगे सो सो डिसाइड वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू एंड ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड कमिंग राइट फ्रॉम दई थिंक कल्पेन सर एज रेज दैंड अलाउ यू सर बिफोर इंट्रोड्यूशन सॉरी just 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 i i'll take half a minute i i must thank udita for brutally frank opinion and amazing honesty with which she has expressed her thoughts and i i see a very uh, nice similarity between what gazal said earlier and uh, udita said just now in fact strategy is choosing which door to close and every time you close a door you are making a choice in life which will affect your future life and with a remarkable clarity you have explained what should be done and why it should be done at the same time why it should not be done now this is something which is extremely valuable for young minds who could be exploring various options at this stage but seeing this kind of balanced view coming from someone who has been through it i think it's ex- extremely valuable and useful and i'm very happy that uh, all of you are giving such wonderful thoughts to our young uh, minds and uh, i i wish to thank you once again for that thank you go ahead pankaj thank you. uh thank you sir uh now i'd like to invite saurav saurav agrawal he is a btech chemical uh, chemical engineering to her 11 batch uh He is a co-founder at Fitco. He is an Ironman triathlete. He is a mountaineer and aspiring author, an endurance athlete, an entrepreneur, and a daydreamer. He is a three times Ironman, a certified Ironman coach as well. He finished La Ultra, 111 kilometers run in Ladakh region in August 20, 2015. He attempted to climb Mount Everest in 2015 as well from North Ridge, but stopped at 6400 meters due to the occurrence of the earthquake. He completed first full Ironman triathlon in August 2014 at Sweden. Fitso now has been acquired by Zomato, I presume, and Sorov now plans to extend his activities in adventure sports and entrepreneurship. So he is a uh, actually a blend of what we can say, career-wise, an entrepreneur, a big entrepreneur maybe, and regarding his other passions of adventure sports, I have seen nobody like him in. uh my periphery so i welcome saurav and i leave it over to you yeah thank you pankaj and thanks everyone uh, great to be here so <clears throat> i will quickly take you through my journey and uh, maybe that can explain a lot of things 
और मेरा मतलब करियर काफी डिफरेंट है आई वुड से फ्रॉम मोस्ट ऑफ द आई आई टी पीपल एंड आई एम अट ऑफ अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ गाई यू विल सी इन अ वे लाइक आई एम नॉट वेरी नॉट वेरी स्टूडियस गाई ड्यूरिंग कॉलेज सो आई वो जस्ट अ फाइव पॉइंटर राइट सो फ्रॉम देयर आई स्टार्टेड एंड मेरे अंदर मतलब वो एक ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप वाला काफी ज्यादा था जो बोल सकते हैं एक कीड़ा होता है कि यार आपको कुछ करना है लाइफ में सो आई थॉट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग समथिंग ड्यूरिंग माई लास्ट ईयर इट सेल्फ फाइनल ईयर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई गॉट अ प्लेसमेंट विद फ्लिपकार्ट आई वर्क देयर फॉर जस्ट इलेवन मंथ्स एंड पोस्ट दैट आई लाइक उसी टाइम पे आई डिसाइडेड कि यार लाइफ में अपने दिल की चीजें करनी है जो कर रहे हैं एंड इट वॉज लाइक वॉट आई वॉज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू सो आई थॉट कि अभी कोई खास रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज भी नहीं है सो आई शुड give myself a chance whatever wild dreams i have i should follow them and let's see where life will take me and uh, again i think being from iit you have that one good thing with you is that uh matlab life mein kehte hain jo dal roti kamana ki aap ko apna pet palne ke liye dal roti kama sakte ho ye confidence mujhe lagta hai har kisi ke andar hona chahiye एंड अगर नहीं है to isko maan ke chalo ki ye cheez to sorted hai tumhari matlab agar kuch bhi nahi hoga matlab what i uh think while uh, while leaving the job after 9 months uh, i was thinking ki yaar i should give myself a chance and agar kuch bhi nahi hua to probably i can like earn 50000 rupees doing whatever job or maybe i can start something but i can survive so that is the worst case for me now worst case is sorted then why not go for the best case possible in my life and that is how i moved on i uh, decided to do adventure sports that was my first thing After leaving the job in 2012, I made a plan of one year. कि मेरे को mountain ring सीखनी है, मेरे को paragliding सीखनी है, skiing करना है, uh, water sports करनी है. तो ये सब एक साल का मैंने plan करके I went through that uh, with my savings. And uh, 2013 was the time when ये सारी list जब मेरी complete हो गई तब मैंने सोचा अब क्या करना चाहिए next. So then I got to know about this race called Ironman. Ironman is a, a like single day endurance event, biggest endurance event in the world. where you have to swim for 4 km uh, in a sea then you have to cycle 180 km and then you have to run a full marathon 42.2 km back to back you have to finish everything within 17 hours to get the title of ironman and 2013 my saw that there were less than 10 people across india out of 1.2 billion population less than 10 people were there who had finished ironman so <clears throat> i thought this is a good uh, ambitious goal to have and uh, i started preparing for it i was a non swimmer at that time i learned swimming uh, for like doing ironman and for one year i prepared for it traveled across india at various places and uh, 2014 was the time when i did get a chance to do ironman in sweden and i was really really happy uh, being on the finish uh, starting line rather than finish line because i was happy about the thing which i dreamt of I am able to do it after one year, and of course, मतलब इस तरीके की चीज करने के लिए there are lots and lots of questions from all around, like from your family, from your friends. A lot of people will keep asking कि यार क्या कर रहा है life में क्यों कर रहा है क्या होगा इससे आगे क्या race खत्म करने से पैसे मिलेंगे and you do not have any answer. You just doing it because you are passionate about it. You want to follow your dreams. That is uh, what my way of seeing the life is. 2014 ironman karne ke baad then i had another dream to climb mount everest i started preparing for it and i raised money from crowdsourcing and uh, from alumni from various corporates and i think that journey made me learn how to go about fundraising how to go about marketing and various other skills right and that kind of helped me later on when i started my own company fitso and like that six year journey went successfully uh, through that whole journey of starting up and taken an exit from there so uh, everest ke andar again i think i was uh, happy that i was able to raise fund and wo bhi again pura endurance event tha matlab it was like two everest i had to climb one is the financial everest and second was the actual everest the financial everest as in like you have to raise 25 lakh rupees right and us time mein matlab I didn't know कि कैसे क्या रेस करना है मैं लोगों से बात कर रहा हूँ आखिरी दिन तक मतलब इवन वेन आई वॉज एट दी एवरेस्ट बेस कैम्प एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो आई एम टेकिंग कॉल्स एंड प्रॉब्लम स्पीकिंग टू पीपल वाई दे शुड स्पॉन्सर मी एंड 
ऑल दो थिंग्स तो तो वो अपने आप में एक जो रेजिलियंट नेचर क्रिएट हुआ मेरा उस चीज से दैट इज लाइक रियली हेल्पिंग मी इवन टूडे सो ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन आई वेंट टू क्लाइम माउंट एवरेस्ट एंड एट दैट टाइम अर्थक्वेक हैपन एंड आई रिटर्न बैक फ्रॉम दी एडवांस बेस कैंप आई वॉज क्लाइंबिंग फ्रॉम दी चाइना साइड uh so after returning back then i and two of my batchmates we decided to start a company and uh, we started in sports and fitness which was uh, we like we uh, were passionate about and we can see there is a huge gap in the market which can be filled up uh, plus it was a big opportunity as per us at that time uh, startups i would say 2015 mein kafi uh, matlab नेसेंट आज के कंपैरिजन में काफी नेशन स्टेज में थे अदरवाइज यस मतलब 2008 में शुरू हुए बट 2015 आल्सो वाज अ टाइम व्हेन यू हैव टू लाइक रेजिंग फंड्स वाज नॉट दैट इजी यू हैव टू अप्रोच वेरियस पीपल मीट देम स्पीक अबाउट योर थिंग व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू डू आज के दिन जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू वांट इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग अप राइट यू कैन गेट अ चेक ऑफ 1 सीआर विद इन से 10 डेज ऑफ 15 20 डेज राइट उस टाइम पे मेरे ख्याल से 3 6 महीने तब भी लग जाते थे अगर आप इनिशियल एक दो करोड़ का भी फंड रेस कर रहे हो तो सो सो दैट वाज अ टाइम वी स्टार्टेड वी बेंट थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन इन द जर्नी स्पेशली आफ्टर लाइक 2020 वी वर एट अ स्टेज वेयर वी वर प्लानिंग टू रेज अ बिगर राउंड एंड कोविड हिट्स एंड आर आर बिजनेस वाज टू प्रोवाइड स्विमिंग एंड बैडमिंटन नॉन टेनिस ऑल दीज फैसिलिटीज स्पोर्ट फैसिलिटीज तो जब कोविड आया तो उस टाइम पे ऑल आर बिजनेस गॉड शट डाउन सो वी वर एट द जीरो रेवेन्यू एंड आर एक्सपेंसेस वर समवेयर अराउंड 1.5 टू 2 सीआर पर मंथ दैट वाज द काइंड ऑफ एक्सपेंसेस वी हैड वी हैड अराउंड 500 पीपल ऑन द पेरोल इन आर कंपनी सो 500 लोगों को हैंडल करना था और रेवेन्यू आपका जीरो हो गया है सो दैट वाज द अगेन अ गुड चैलेंजिंग टाइम फॉर अस बट अगेन सम हाउ वी वेंट थ्रू इट वी स्पोकन टू पीपल एंड जैसे दीपक और गजल वगैरह ने बात करी कि यार पीपल मैनेजमेंट के ऊपर प्लस इट्स इट्स मोर अबाउट लाइक हाउ यू मैनेज पीपल हाउ यू कनेक्ट विद देम हाउ यू एक्सप्लेन द सिचुएशन एंड एवरीथिंग सो आई थिंक दैट दैट केम रियली हैंडी एट दैट टाइम एंड पोस्ट दैट इन 2020 वी गॉट अ ऑफर फ्रॉम जोमैटो दैट दे वांट टू एक्वायर फिट सो इट वेंट थ्रू लाइक दैट प्रोसेस वेंट थ्रू फॉर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट 6 मंथ्स and uh, then the company got acquired post that company got uh, sold again to cure fit and now fitso is a part of cure fit and uh, i have moved on from fitso and uh, again uh, i am back to what i really love like again uh, traveling and uh, doing learning various skills in adventure sports learning various adventure sports so so that is what i am doing now and probably Uh, taking a few other initiatives uh, to promote sports across india so 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 that is my life uh, till now and uh, what outcome i think or what uh, kind of a thumb rule which people can take is that and which everyone has said here you have to do what you want to do you have to figure out what you really want to do you should not just follow the crowd aapko jo acha lagta hai wo decide karo wo samjho pehle aur usko follow karo प्लस uh, मेरी लाइफ से मेरे को लगता है कि अगर वो बहुत ज्यादा एम्बिशियस या बहुत ज्यादा फुलिश भी लगता है तो भी यू शुड गो एड विद दैट एंड पेरेंट्स सबसे बड़ा पहला क्वेश्चन मेरे को इसके बाद आता है क्वेंट डे में कि यार पेरेंट्स को कैसे मनाया तो मेरा मानना ये कि पेरेंट्स को पेरेंट्स वगैरह सब मान जाते हैं और आज के दिन तो और चे लोग हैं पेरेंट्स ठीक है वो हमारे ही फादर वाइज जनरेशन में थे कि उस टाइम पे पेरेंट्स बहुत टफ होते थे आज के टाइम पेरेंट्स आर रियली रियली कूल एंड अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग इट जस्ट दैट यू हैव टू कन्विंस योर फर्स्ट कि तुम्हें क्या करना है और जो तुम सोच रहे हो वो तुम्हें एक्चुअली में करना है कि नहीं करना है इफ यू कन्विंस योर सेल्फ एवरी वन कैन बी कन्विंस आफ्टर दैट सो दैट इज वॉट इज अ टेक अवे थैंक यू या थैंक यू सौरभ इट वॉज ग्रेट टू हियर फ्रॉम यू इट वॉज ग्रेट टू सी यू आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ आई ओपन द क्यू एन ए सेशन एंड आई हैव रिसीव एटलीस्ट आई थिंक ट्वेल्व थर्टीन क्वेश्चन so i would like to start with a few of them because i am not sure whether since time will how permit how much but at 6 or 5 we are still 25 minutes left so the first question which has come to me is what are some challenges in building teams and how did you overcome this is probably for the startup people entrepreneurs 
So I think Ghazal, Saurav, they can take this, maybe. Sure. Uh, yeah, Ghazal, you take. Uh, building teams. So uh, I think the first is one of those issues. So I'll tell you what really happens is um, first part is that we think uh, we don't think that hiring the, is a process. Right? So if you think about like teams, uh, hiring is a process. A lot of people think that it's good to hire isne bahut kuch kiya ho isko hire kar lete hain right so often i would have like very senior managers come and their debrief of like interviewing somebody was acha lag raha hai acha bol matlab usne acha kaam kiya hua hai driver le lete hain to startup mein na i am surprised that there is it's it's such an important decision right from a cost point of view and from a wastage point of view for the organization but because in that speed of hiring a lot of startups don't have hiring processes codified and i like at rivigo we said the one process that's actually a marker of scalability of an organization is actually the hiring process because when we were about 100 people you know up until then i had interviewed everybody i had hired them matlab sabse mile the but when we went from 100 people to 5000 people like we grew in one year everybody in the organization was interviewed koi pichle mahine join kar raha hai ab apni team ke liye interview kar raha hai so we it gave us sleepless nights because we don't know kon hire ho raha hai kya hire ho raha hai so i think the first thing when you sit down for hiring is to be able to put a process to it kon interview karega who are the interviewers you know what sort of the question they are asking so we had templatized all of it because we said we are going to check across these eight things har har cheez ko check karne ke ye panch hi question hai and pehla interview mein ye char cheeze check hongi aur ye 10 log interview kar sakte hain aur second interview mein ye hoga so for every role we had templatized this so when you build teams just deeply think through the process you know great institutions whether they are goldman sachs mckinsey google right we took a lot of inspiration from google hiring process you know how it is built for process for for countering biases because the problem is you know you every person that you hire agar wo company mein misfit hai aapne galti kar di uske selection mein it's on you and you know what the cost is that person's career point वो आके उसको रियलाइज होगा यार आई एम नॉट फिट फॉर दिस रोल और दिस कंपनी एंड यू यू नो यू उसके रेज्यूम में भी गलत हो गया एंड यू आर टू ब्लेम आपने इंटरव्यू कराया उसको सेकंड इज अ टाइम वेस्टेड फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज व्हेन यू गिव एन ऑफर समबडी जॉइंस आफ्टर 2 3 मंथ्स देन 2 3 महीने में उनको रियलाइज होता है कि यार देयर इज अ मिसफिट आइदर आई एम नॉट राइट फॉर द रोल और द कंपनी और द कंपनी फील्स दैट दिस पर्सन इज नॉट राइट फिर उसके बाद उनको जाने में 6 महीने एक साल लग जाता है so the wastage for the company is one and a half years of cost and setback unless like you become a hiring firing culture right and that's why startups go through this because you jaldi hire karte hain so for me the second thing about building teams is you know take time in hiring because letting go is difficult and letting go because of performance reasons is different than saying bhai hey, humse galti ho gayi aap is ye role aur aap fit nahi karte so to me think about that process very very deeply and nail it the second is train your people on that process because hota kya tha ki aapne process bana diya but people are not trained so we trained and we trained from amazon amazon has like it's called making great hiring decisions unki ek training manual hai we trained our people we over invested them the third thing in hiring uh, you know that is that where the bar is you know and one thing we applied applied was that you know a teams hire a teams b teams hire c teams right and at the end of the day organization aap jo kar rahe ho it's basically people so are you raising the bar with every hire and it doesn't mean ki matlab smart ke upar smart but it could be various dimensions right so let's say you are hiring technology teams is the new person you are hiring as an engineer raising the bar of engineering in your organization so are you making better and better hiring decisions right 
and the last thing that a lot of companies get wrong is the right talent to value not everything in an organization needs an iit or the smartest person to do it you know sometimes you you need to find the right talent at the right value to do that job well right so you have to have as a team leader as a founder that intuition ki ye kaam hai it's really yahi talent acha aur ye itne price mein hai and when that happens the person is motivated to do the job you take an engineer or an iit and then put him on a job of like data analysis wo 6 mahine mein chhod dega wo bolega ki main kya kar raha hu right so unless there is like something that holds them there which traditionally companies had like you know pensions retirement schemes etc yahan pe the talent will be transient so you have to make sure that what's the right talent to value uh, that you are hiring so i think those are my bits on hiring it's a huge topic i think um, one thing that you have to you know understand of course there are many levels what questions do you ask people right how do you gauge motivation you know capability intent all of that it's it's a different thing but i think just like at a high level those four things for sure I don't know if that answers the question, but sorry, good luck to your you as well. No, no, I think I will say just like uh, in a brief that culture fit is very important, and uh, if if that person which you you are bringing in as a senior person, and uh, if he or she doesn't fit in your culture, the way company operates or the way founders operate or the way you want to operate actually, then it be- becomes a big problem. And as uh, Gazal rightly said, that letting them go. is a bigger task than hiring those people so agar koi senior position par hai usko fir aapko nikalna aur zyada challenging ho jata hai uske andar team ban chuki hai to wo team ka culture fir apne alag chalega aur aapki company ka culture alag hai to wo sab mismatch bahut zyada challenging ho jate hain to isliye i think chahe level bande ka khud ka iq level jitna aapko chahiye usse ek level kam ho koi dikkat nahi hai culture fit important hai culturally fit hona chahiye aapki organization ke andar and i think i would add to that sort of that often i've seen you know we used to hire a lot of senior people from companies said companies and they would say ki hr ne hiring nahi kari ya hr acche you know in the new world the ceo is the chief people right, of, right? Hmm. so as the team manager it's your job to build your team wo aap bilkul i would look at that as a core skill when i was hiring senior leaders that are they able can they build teams now one part and it starts from ownership ye mera kaam hai ye hr ka kaam nahi hai and, and if we keep thinking ki h and i have also met people you know who could be in engineering operations who would put it on hr to so hr chase karta rahega teams banane ke liye but at the end of the day wo hr is you know uske ke pe ko farak nahi padega so if your work's not Definitely. done you're responsible for it and it starts hmm. by are you able to you know just make it a priority and then define process etc etc yep yeah and now i have a question for udita i think udita is there um, probably left oh probably uh, hmm. she had a meeting lined hmm. up after 6:15 okay so we are a little bit hmm. late hmm. I'll take another question, and that is probably to Deepak. Deepak, you spoke about finishing line, and if we talk about finishing line in the career of corporate world, what do you what do you see as a finishing line? I mean, that is something which is uh, uh, which I could not make out. Number one, number two, uh, finishing line question was my question actually, and now there is another question which comes from uh, the audience that. uh when you are in a corporate culture when do you switch jobs i mean how do you decide that this is time that you know i should switch a job for growth for some other experience what is the criteria these are the two questions for you as a well. yeah thanks pankaj i think this probably not a standard answer to that and if i take the second question first when do you switch the jobs right i have not switched the company per se I but i have switched the jobs uh within shell group of companies uh, every 3 to 4 years I right and now that's in my perspective uh and everyone have would have their own answer when they should switch the job right and the reason i switched the job and i i did switch the job within shell group of companies is my learning 
was almost negligible, became negligible when I became stagnant in my learning, right? When I was not learning new things in my job uh, on a daily, weekly or monthly basis, right? I had an urge to switch the job. So it was driven by, really for me personally, it was driven by, am I learning? Am I doing something that is making me better? Right? Or not? And that was my only criteria for uh, switching the job within Shell Group uh, per se. And because of which I worked in downstream, which means refinery, midstream, gas, Iraq, upstream, which means getting the oil out. And then Shell Foundation, which is more about on-ground work, working with uh, really rural customers, right? So, uh, and I didn't really care about my promotions and growth in that sense. So it's a balance that you have to strike on that. I think finishing line, what I meant by finishing line, Pankaj, is really about when do you stop competing with others, right? So that was my, uh, what I referred to as a finishing line, right? Uh, that competition with others of going ahead of others uh, never ends because you might, I mean, take an example of money, right? Now it's, you need to have money. I'm not saying not. I, but if you make that as your goal to beat someone in terms of becoming rich, right? What is your competition with? Is it with Mukesh Ambani, right? Or is it Jeff Bezos? Or now is it even with, uh, you know, further more than that, right? Tesla, right? On that. So what is really your finishing line in terms of your goals? If you start defining a finishing line based on what others are doing, right? It will always extend if a finishing line is based on what others are doing and not what really you want to do. Uh, well, I personally got the answer of the finishing line because the, the moment you start competing with other people, that is true. Uh, now I have another question and that is again, uh, probably related to startup only. So again, Ghazal or sort of any of the two or both of you can take it up. And the question is that, see, when we uh, go for startups, even I actually worked on a startup that was in the field of education. So what keeps you going on the tough days? Basically, we obviously know being entrepreneurs, it is a very tough times we actually face many a times. And at times we feel that Lord, this is enough. sleepless nights So what is it which keeps you people going? That is my question. I mean, that is the, hmm. the, the question from audience, not my question. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so personally for me, I think uh, two, three things I can think of. One is of course, uh, uh, the responsibility uh, you have taken basically if you have started up right and uh, you have say 100 employees 50 60 investors and uh, uh, people around so who have believed in you so that is one thing which always keeps you pushing if, if you are uh, not finished yet so you have to just keep one step moving you have to keep moving step by step that is one thing second is key uh, uh i have this philosophy of key uh, like uh, after the darkness sunlight will come right so no time is going to stay right so you just have to keep moving time probably just keep your head down and do the work whatever you can think of so aisa nahi koi bhagwan koi usi time pe ekdam naya rasta dikhayega thoda sa move karoge aage shayad tab rasta nikal jayega so you have to just keep moving like endurance sport mein is the same thing like you are while you are running aapke agar 10 km bache to step by step badhte raho dekhi jayegi matlab ho jayega khatam kuch na kuch nikal aayega rasta aage so i think that is the second thing which i uh, used to think around and uh, i think yeah these two major things which were like uh, my view like how i move forward Gazal, you can take it. Gazal, uh, you take about it. I agree. I think for me, what drives uh, you know founders and 
in a startup is actually the purpose right because aap kya solve karne nikle ho does that do you connect with it deeply often entrepreneurs you know have a very deep connect with the problem or the customer that they have set out to solve right um, and mujhe lagta hai ki you know tough spaces mein wo wo hi aapko drive kar sakta hai Uh, and then of course if you build scale large team but the pura bhi scale ho gaya then you feel responsible towards the people that you hired you know were a part of the team who taken a bet on you etc um but yeah, see startup is different from business agar aapko business karna hai to aaj aap jaake you know sabbe ki franchise le lo wo business hai usme koi risk nahi hai usme aapko koi sabbe se connect bhi nahi hai right usme koi risk bhi nahi hoga ki aapka business chala nahi chala so those are like risk free businesses kalpa agarbatti ki factory laga lo wo business hai you know relax ho gi factory so those are you know there's not risk in it you know risk is what you know venture capital or startups is that it's a you know it's a it's your vision and you think that 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 problem is there and that needs a different solution which is not being tested So, उसमें रोड ब्लॉक्स आएंगे उसमें आपने जो एग्जाम्पल्स चेंज हो सकते हैं गलत हो सकते हैं एंड नो स्टार्टअप जर्नी इज लेनियर इट इज एक्चुअली यू नो और एक्सपोनशियल और लेनियर इट गोज फॉर लॉर्ड ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन एंड यू नो एंड देर फॉर इट टेक्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कनेक्ट विद द पर्पज फीलिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द पीपल दैट कीप्स यू गोइंग and at the end of the day when they get founders sort of resilient to hote hain so there is an element of resilience ki you know you fall you cry but you pick yourself up and you move on um and uh, you know that's like a value in life i think you know if i find somebody who hire just to resilient or grit to irrespective whether they are founder startup people just uh, resilience as a as a value is is something that i real i personally really admire and it drives a lot of founders as well okay yeah normally what happens we actually go for at times give up give up ho jata hai fir lagta hai ki nahi ho payega to us situation mein thodi problem to hoti hai i agree i have another question uh, for deepak deepak are you there oh deepak okay yes i am just talking about some network issue ah uh, yeah deepak the question is uh people i think there is a, an alumni who is into jobs and he says that there are frustrations there are frustrations when your colleagues feature in 40 under 40 top <laughs> list or maybe 30 under 30 and you are still stuck with a uh, normal corporate job you can say so उस फ्रस्ट्रेशन का क्या करे जनता पीछे पड़ती उसका क्या करे दैट इज व्हाट ही वांट्स टू यार अगेन आई विल से एंड आई थिंक गजल एंड सौरभ हैज सेड राइट एवरीथिंग इज नॉट फॉर एवरीवन राइट एंड इट्स नॉट अ लीनियर इजी जर्नी दैट इफ यू आर इन अ स्टार्टअप यू कैन यू नो जस्ट डू वेल एवरी डे एंड एवरी स्टार्टअप डज वेल एवरी डे राइट I mean, my brother has been doing a startup as I said Bloodnet was also a startup and job right again I go back to the same thing define your purpose if your purpose is to be in 40 under 40 well go ahead with that you know uh, work hard uh, and good luck for that if your purpose is to be 40 under 40 because your friend is there or you know someone who has been there and that is why you are under pressure to be in in 40 under 40 or because your parents are saying that see your relative Uh, is there or your friend is there what are you doing in your life and that is getting you under pressure to do something which probably your heart is not there don't do it if your heart and mind both are into something then go ahead and do it and don't be afraid of failure right and don't assume it is easy and don't assume everyone go gets through it right right but if you're doing that because someone is asking you to do it i mean i would recommend not to do it but again everyone would have a different view on that uh, on this and i would love gajal and sarav to give views on that how much you should get driven by being in 40 under 40 because someone else is there <laughs> yeah no i i think deepak well articulated see 
क्या होता है ना देर आर टू थिंग्स दैट वी शुड वी शुड बी माइंड फुल ऑफ राइट फर्स्ट इज दैट वी आर वेरी प्रिवलेज इस देश में सो वन हैज टू ऑलवेज लिव विद वैल्यू ऑफ ग्रेटिट्यूड right i think there was one part about you know the choice how do you live your life right there are values that drive you those values are of gratitude of excellence uh, at any point be thankful for what you have there is always much more that you can have etc right but if you are always in that thing na ki uske paas gaye hai uske paas gaye hai ab wo wo never ending hai wo 40 under 40 hai wo ye hai right matlab aap aap there is no end to it so that is one that you know stop compare that, that comparisons will only uh, will only harm you rather than move you forward right the second part of it actually is that focus on inputs right because those are outputs to try matlab you know there are a lot many awards which you can pay and actually get your names on thank you and a lot of people do it which is very good so if that's the your marker of success and it was my last thing in those points that how will you measure your life will you measure your life by the number of 40 under 40s or the number of like you know these sort of external markers that you have or that you know that you you, you solved a problem and you feel very you know confident uh, you know it, it gives you happiness and gratitude ki jo kara matlab acha kara so if you get driven by the outer matrix problem kya hai na agar wo mil agar wo outside validation mil jaye to it's very good but if you don't get it it leads to a lot of mental health issues depression insecurity etc right so, and all of that is real in this generation the more i see the more it worries me frankly in us there's a statistic that 80% of founders in us have mental health issues and it's real because you know if if you at a very young age if you are ambitious and young and there are so many sort of external validations for every one funding round that we hear about there are 10 that were not able to raise whose journeys are not that straight line and i think they those journeys to me are equally successful because my marker of success is different for me somebody picked the problem tried it worked at it with resilience बहुत बड़ी बात है अब उसको अगर फोर्टी अंडर फोर्टी मिला नहीं मिला इट्स ओके आई मीन दोस्ट लाइफ इज लाइफ इज टू शॉर्ट टू पुट इट ऑन लाइफ इज टू लाइफ इज टू मैग्नानिमस टू एक्चुअली पुट इट ऑन अ रेज्यूम में और लाइक फोर फाइव थिंग्स दैट यू हैव अचीव दिस मार्कर्स आई थिंक दीज आर गुड टू हैव एंड मजा तब आता है जब आपको फर्क नहीं पड़ता इन सब चीजों से Uh, thank you, Gazal, and I think Ulta is back, and we will take uh, two questions which are particularly for her. And basically, uh, I can see three, four questions basically pertaining to the same thing. So somebody says, if is civil services a good career, and for an honest and bright IITian, will he or she be able to cope up with the pulls and pushes of political bosses, senior officers, local mafia, and others, or is it suited best? For the wheeler dealer, practical and smart fellow, where success is measured by the money you make, irrespective of how you make it. So, Udita. Uh, very interesting question. Uh, what I can say, see, I am uh, posted in Bihar. I think, I uh, mean, Bihar. Me, the perception is that if there are push and pull factors, mafias, local mafias, these all, I mean, if there is uh, any kind of push and pull, I think it. Bihar is Bihar, UP are the states which are facing it the most. But the thing is that if you are an upright officer, uh, everybody gets to know about it. And once everybody gets to know about it, then that push and pull is finished. I mean, it is in your two years of your career or say five years of your career when you'll have to struggle and establish a repo. But one by one, once your repo is set, everybody gets to know that you are not listening to people's opinions. and then then they'll accept you as what you are so wo push and pull apne aap khatam ho jata hai matlab if you are honest upright officer people respect you a lot and uh, actually uh, such officers are the only officers who are respected in the society so if you are a honest uh, and upright person high on integrity do join the services because the services need such people and uh, smart to yaar har it in smart hai matlab there is nothing like a smart people will be able to manage 
if you are it and you, if you are I'm not even it and i'll say mother i've seen the service if you are engineer you will be able to manage this is what i feel engineers are the best managers so you will be able to manage everything uh, and uh, the values you have that will direct you the path direct you to the path ki aap kaun sa path lete ho so don't be worried about the push pull factors the political issues the mafias the goons everything will fall in place if you have the right values thank you so much i have a follow up question for that normally there is a problem of transfer posting because aap nahi sunte ho kisi ki to fir aapko send kar diya jata hai that is the basic challenge which normally people face और वो ब्यूरोक्रेसी एक अपने आप में इतनी बड़ी खिचड़ी है जिससे डील करना बड़ा मुश्किल है तो हाउ डू यू टू दिस आई मीन वी एज इंजीनियर्स बेसिकली वी आर नॉट यूज्ड टू दिस काइंड ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स सो दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैलेंज व्हिच वी मे फेस हाउ डू डील विद देखो फर्स्ट थिंग आई लाइक टू से इज ट्रांसफर पोस्टिंग इज नो पनिशमेंट आप जिस मतलब वेदर आई एम राइट नाउ इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ वैशाली or as i've been khagadia or as we in albin araria or kishanganj it does not matter because you will be serving same with departments aap road department ro mera ho ya health mera ho ya education mera ho ya science and tech mera aap jahan jis position ko hold karoge you can make a impact to transfer there is nothing as shunting matlab aapko koi to position diya hi jayega na aur government servants ka job bahut hi certain hota hai ki koi aapki naukri nahi le sakti aapse matlab for matlab until unless you have done something corrupt matlab if you are honest and high integrity nobody can take your job with from you and you will be paid the salary aur jo bhi responsibility aap jis bhi post pe rahoge na to aapko bahut zyada responsibility aapko us post pe rahegi to don't matlab i for all the civil service matlab jo bhi hum log service join karte the first thing we are taught is never be worried with transfer posting and never be matlab wo jo charm hota hai matlab the all the perks we get is always associated to the chair and not to you तो जो घर मिल रहा है जो गाड़ी मिल रहा है वो उस चेयर की घर है चेयर की गाड़ी है द टाइम यू आर शिफ्टेड कुछ भी आपका नहीं होता है तो यू लेट जस्ट टू इट मतलब ये सब कोई बहुत बड़ी बात नहीं होती है uh the your business is so much scalable i mean is it at the start of the startup or is it in between you realize that this can be scalable what is it i mean when do you decide it? uh so yeah i think right from the starting uh you have to understand ki aap kya karna cha rahe ho and is it scalable or not because whenever you are going for fund raising you have to kind of show the vision what you want to do uh so that is one thing बट अगेन यस दिस इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन इन अ वे कि आप कभी भी उसका एक्चुअल पोटेंशियल शायद गेज तब कर पाते हो जब आप उसके अंदर और डीप 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 जाते हो मतलब जब आप डीप जाते हो एक्चुअली में तो आपको पता चलता है कि शायद जो आप सॉल्व करने निकले थे उससे और बड़ी प्रॉब्लम कुछ एग्जिस्ट करती है तो देन यू प्रॉब्ली जो कहते हैं कि अपना पेवट करना मतलब बिजनेस के अंदर आप पेवट करते चले जाते हो मतलब इन केस ऑफ फिट सो ऑल्सो वी पेवेटेड थ्री टाइम्स हमने कुछ सोचा कि यहाँ से शुरू करेंगे फिर हमें जब हमने टेस्ट आउट किया तो दिखा कि प्रोडक्ट एकदम फेल हो गया मार्केट ने रिजेक्ट कर दिया कि नहीं हमें नहीं चाहिए हमें समझ आया चाहिए यही नहीं फिर कुछ और बनाया मतलब वहां से बट आपको अगला हिंट मिलता है कि अगला क्लू मिलता है कि यार एक्चुअली में ये चाहिए लोगों को फिर वो बनाया वहां से फिर आपको लगा कि नहीं एक और अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है वहां से जाके हमारा मेन जो बिजनेस था लास्ट में जो हमने बिल्ड किया सो दैट केम इन द थर्ड पेवेट सो बेसिकली इट इज अन गोइंग जर्नी आपको पता चलता रहेगा कि यार ये ये करना है बट exactly you have to stay resilient you have to be have the open eyes and ears ki bhai market kya keh rahi hai wo suno customers ko suno kyunki customer hi sab kuch hai uski problem ko suno apna khali ye mat socho ki bas ye problem hai 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 aankh band karke usi ke liye build kare ja rahe ho customer se hamesha feedback lete raho ki yaar ye problem hai na uske liye wo ready hai na pay karne ke liye agar wo ready hai pay kar raha hai tumhe to matlab you are solving the right problem and then if the there is a good chunk of people who have the same problem your business is good okay uh thank you everyone it was a uh, pleasure listening to all of you and connecting with you and i would now request uh, rakesh bansal sir secretary it delhi alumni association he is a 1985 uh, graduate from it delhi and uh, he was a civil engineer and he has served in various civil engineering projects already and right now serving as secretary so i would like bansal sir to chip in and meanwhile it was great hearing out from you people so bansal sir over to you bansal sir thank you pankaj uh, for your lovely introduction 
uh, it was it was really wonderful hearing uh, all the young minds today and uh, hearing such insights from all our young alumni uh, working in various sectors. The clarity of thought I think displayed was uh, exemplary. Everybody is very very clear on uh, how and uh, what of uh, their careers. I'm sure this will go a long way in helping our uh, young students and alumni uh, choose their uh, futures. Um, uh, for all our uh, distinguished panelists today, Gadar, Kalra, Deepak, Udita, Saurabh, thank you very much for being here and uh, sharing your thoughts. Uh, we we really shared uh, heard very uh, we heard uh, Gadar say that uh, she wished that such a platform was available in her times, but uh, I would also go for step forward and say, I, I mean, probably we didn't have enough uh, examples of startups that uh, in, in her times to really emulate. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, same in our times also, we, we wish that uh, uh, we had the such events at that time and we had such successful entrepreneurs from our own alumnus guiding us. Uh, uh, things would have probably been different for many of us. Uh, almost everybody echoed some very interesting thoughts, like uh, some of them is, of course, most interesting was, <clears throat> don't be led by FOMO. Be yourself and don't be under peer pressure. What in our time we used to say, under peer pressure, now it is FOMO. So terminology is different, but I think idea is the same. You follow your passion, do what you want to do. And I think, uh, very well articulated by Saurabh also. Now parents are also getting cooler. They are they are not uh, they don't push uh, the, uh, their children so much because probably things have also evolved. Financial securities are also better in many homes. So and uh, parents are more understanding that way. So don't go, don't be pushed uh, by your uh, under peer pressure and definitely not uh, by what your uh, friends or others are doing. If you have a passion. Go and uh, uh, do it. Be confident and go, do, go and do it. Focus on your health. Up, keep, keep upgrading. There are other things. And uh, um, uh, Odita also mentioned, take every challenge as an opportunity. So don't, don't be bogged down. Once you are in the job also, there will be challenges. There will be uh, new uh, uh, challenges coming up. But uh, take it in your stride and... Uh, Take it as an opportunity because everything leaves a mark on you. You learn new things and you grow. So it is part of the process. So uh, very well said uh, all our uh, um, panelists today. And uh, I once again thank uh, everybody to be here today. And uh, I would request everybody to continue to be part of the association, be active uh, in the association. We have uh, these mentor-mentee programs also. We are... Uh, we look forward to uh, people, alumni like you, who can actually uh, help our younger uh, minds uh, to uh, help choose their careers. And uh, uh, like uh, somebody also mentioned that uh, there may be 80%, 90% failure rates also, but that frustration should not creep in. So if they get the right kind of mentorship at the right moment, probably that thing can be avoided and people will be uh, able to uh, sustain better. If success and failures are part of life, but it has to be taken in its stride and move on. So uh, thank you once again. Thank you, Pankaj, uh, for organizing this. Uh, our alumni association, Narinder, our entire audience, Kalpen, everybody for being here and um, <clears throat> for attendance and uh, your wonderful questions. So. Uh Sir, I would like to just wind up in, uh, thank you so much. And I would like to just wind up in two things. I like that Deepak said, stress low, lekin utna mat lo. Mujhe ikhi chiz yade elastic limit hoti hai. Kahi pe ek elastic limit hoti hai. Uske beyond jane pe plastic ho jata hai. And I would like to sum it up, jo meri understanding hai, says Charo panelist ne ek baat kahi, there has to be a purpose. There has to be a purpose in life for whatever you are doing. That was common to Gazal, that was common to Deepak, that was common to probably Udita as well, and that was certainly common to Saurav. So again, I thank you everybody, and I, I uh, joining Rakesh sir, I would request that all of you stay connected with the association and you know urge your batchmates also to contribute because some when I figured out 
I personally believe this is a great idea to connect with the alumni first and transfer the expertise downstream. So I thank you everyone for sharing your ideas. Thank you.